people looking at an empty chair. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you just, why would you not tell me that the cameras, like, why, why, why? Like, the cameras, anyway, man, what's going on, y'all? My bad, yeah, I keep y'all waiting here, man. I didn't even know the camera was, was rolling, bro. That's my bad, man. But yo, since we're here, we might as well check some shit out, right? <laughs> what's going on, y'all? It's me, the one and only, man. Listen, bro, y'all love to see, uh, I, I guess y'all seem to love my comedy. Uh, you know, when I react to comedy and shit, man. So y'all keep requesting, man. So we got a pretty dope one, man. Uh, George Carlin with his uh, religion, his bullshit uh, stand-up routine, man. So this, uh, this thing is like 10 minutes long. I ain't gonna really do do too much pausing, man. This is fucking dope that, uh, you know, y'all requested some George Carlin. Because um, I actually like, I, I, man, rest in peace to George Carlin, by the way, man. Comedy just ain't ain't the same. So, yeah, man, religion is bullshit. We're going to check it out. Telling me to check it out. It's highly requested. So, I do what I got to do. You feel me? So, without further ado, man, make sure you like the video. And we just going to hop into it, man, and check it out. Let's do it. But in the bullshit department, in the bullshit department, a businessman can't hold a candle to a clergyman. Because I got to tell you the truth, folks. I got to tell you the truth. When it comes to bullshit, big time, major league bullshit, you have to stand in awe. In awe of the all-time champion of false promises and exaggerated claims, religion. No contest. No contest. Religion. Religion easily has the greatest bullshit story ever told. Think about it. Religion has actually convinced people that there's an invisible man <laughs> living in the sky who watches everything you do every minute of every day. And the invisible man has a special list of 10 things he does not want you to do. <laughs> and if you do any of these 10 things, he has a special place full of fire and smoke and burning and torture and anguish where he will send you to live and suffer and burn and choke and scream and now listen now listen before y'all get i already i already feel it i feel the tension in the comment section y'all about to spam my shit so crazy before y'all do that though just take a second relax It's going to be all right, man. Listen. Now, one thing about George Carlin is that he going to push buttons, man. He going to push buttons and he going to really get underneath your skin and trigger you. Similar to Bill Burr, right? But Bill Burr is on, on a little bit of a different league. <clears throat> He's not afraid to just attack it straight on and just just go. So, <clears throat> oh, man, this we're going to be in for a wild ride, man. <laughs> and cry forever and ever till the end of time but he loves you oh man he loves you oh man he loves you and he needs money he always needs money He's all powerful, all perfect, all knowing, and all wise. <laughs> Somehow, just can't handle money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, George Carlin, man. I know he gonna get a bu I know he got a bunch of 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 trolls, man. Back then, oh, I know he just. Let's just keep going, man. I know y'all triggered. I know a lot of y'all triggered, bruh. It's okay. It's, it's comedy, man. It's comedy. Religion takes in billions of dollars. They pay no taxes. And they always need a little more. Now, you talk about a good bullshit story. Holy shit. <laughs> Thank you very much. But I want you to know, I want you to know something. This is sincere. I want you to know, when it comes to believing in God, I really tried. I really, really tried. I tried to believe that there is a God who created each of us in his own image and likeness, loves us very much, and keeps a close eye on things. 
I really tried to believe that, but I gotta tell you, the longer you live, the more you look around, the more you realize something is fucked up. <laughs> something is wrong here. War, disease, death, destruction, hunger, filth, poverty, torture, crime, corruption, and the ice capades. And listen, man, this is coming from somebody who, you know what I'm saying, was who came up, you know, Christian, you know, obviously, man, Catholic, to be specific. But, um, yeah, man, listen, like, it, 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 if anything, it makes you open your eyes, okay, to, to some things, right? I mean, I understand a lot of people are going to be stuck in their ways. You know, and they're going to believe what they want to believe. And that's cool. Fine. Do you. You know. But at the end of the day, man, it's comedy and it's also his opinion. You know. So don't get. Just calm your ass down. Okay. <laughs> Chill out. Something is definitely wrong. This is not good work. If this is the best God can do, I am not impressed. Results like these do not belong on the resume of a supreme being. This is the kind of shit you'd expect from an office temp with a bad attitude. <laughs> and just between you and me, in between you and me, in any decently run universe, this guy would have been out on his all-powerful ass a long time ago. <laughs> and by the way, I say this guy because I firmly believe, looking at these results, that if there is a God, it has to be a man. No woman could or would ever fuck things up like this. So, so, uh, if, if, if there is a No, that's not the first time I've heard some something like that, man. You know, there's some people that think, you know, there's some people that think that, you know. If you do, let me know down below. God, if there is, I think most reasonable people might agree that he's at least incompetent and maybe, just maybe, doesn't give a shit doesn't give a shit, which I admire in a person and which would explain a lot of these bad results. So rather than be just another mindless religious robot, mindlessly and, and aimlessly and blindly believing that all of this is in the hands of some spooky incompetent father figure who doesn't give a shit, I decided to look around for something else to worship. Something I could really count on. And immediately I thought of the sun. Happened like that. Overnight I became a sun worshiper. Well, not overnight, you can't see the sun at night. <laughs> the first thing the next morning, oh, man. <laughs> I became a sun worshiper. Several reasons. First of all, I can see the sun, okay? <laughs> yeah. Unlike some other gods I could mention, I can actually see the sun. I'm big on that. If I can see something, I don't know, kind of helps the credibility along, you know? <laughs> So every day I can see the sun as it gives me everything I need. Oh. Heat, light, food, flowers in the park, reflections on the lake, and occasional skin cancer. But hey, <laughs> at least there are no crucifixions and we're not setting people on fire simply because they don't agree with us. Sun worship is fairly simple. Yeah, and if you peep, you can always tell, you know, if somebody is like really pushing buttons a little bit too much because like the crowd kind of pulls back a little bit and they don't really laugh and engage with the comedian as much as they should but i it, I, I can't tell that you know the, the the crowd seems like they pretty into it you know what i'm saying so you know hey there's no mystery, no miracles, no pageantry, no one asks for money, there are no songs to learn, and we don't have a special building where we all gather once a week to compare clothing. <laughs> and the best thing, the best thing about the sun, it never tells me I'm unworthy. It doesn't tell me I'm a bad person who needs to be saved, hadn't said an unkind word, treats me fine. So, I worship the sun, but I don't pray to the sun. Know why? I wouldn't presume on our friendship. It's not polite. I've often thought people treat God rather rudely, don't you? Asking you know, trillions and trillions of prayers every day, asking and pleading and begging for favors, do this, give me that, I need a new car, I want a better job. And most of this praying takes place on Sunday, his day off. <laughs> it's not nice, and it's no way to treat a friend. But people do pray, and they pray for a lot of different things. You know, your sister needs an operation on her crotch. Your, your brother was arrested for defecating in a mall. But most of all, you'd really like to fuck that hot little redhead down at the convenience store. You know, the one with the eye patch and the club foot, huh? 
Can you pray for that? Yo. I think you'd have to. Yo, he's out of pocket, bro. He is so out of pocket. But the shit be funny. Like, I don't know what to tell you. And I say fine. Pray for anything you want. Pray for anything. But what about the divine plan? Remember that? The divine plan. Long time ago, God made a divine plan. Gave it a lot of thought, decided it was a good plan, put it into practice. And for billions and billions of years, the divine plan has been doing just fine. Now you come along and pray for something. Well, suppose the thing you want isn't in God's divine plan. What do you want him to do? Change his plan? Just for you? Doesn't it seem a little arrogant? It's a divine plan. What's the use of being God if every rundown schmuck with a $2 prayer book can come along and fuck up your plan? Hey, now that? And again, it's coming from a Christian, man. You know, like, it it makes sense, right? We always talk about the, the you know, the plans that, you know, God may have or, you know, whatever. But, you know, it's like, you know, if everyone's praying to him, right, or her, right? Isn't it kind of like wouldn't that slow that down? Wouldn't that slow that whole process down if he, if he got to answer every single prayer that comes? He, he wouldn't get anything done, right? They wouldn't get anything done if that was the case. I don't know. Something to think about. And here's something else. Another problem you might have. Suppose your prayers aren't answered. What do you say? Well, it's God's will. Thy will be done. Fine. But if it's God's will and He's going to do what He wants to anyway, why the fuck bother praying in the first place? Seems like a big waste of time to me. Couldn't you just skip the praying part and go right to his will? It's all very confusing. So to get around a lot of this, I decided to worship the sun. But as I said, I don't pray to the sun. You know who I pray to? Joe Pesci. <laughs> Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci. Two reasons. First of all, I think he's a good actor, okay? To me, that counts. Second, he looks like a guy who can get things done. <laughs> Joe Pesci doesn't fuck around. Yo, I actually rock with Joe Pesci, man. Uh, yo, shout out to Home Alone. And shout out to uh, the Irishman, yo. If you, ever saw the, if you saw the Irishman, put that down below, man. That shit was too. Doesn't fuck around. In fact... In fact, Joe Pesci came through on a couple of things that God was having trouble with. For years, I asked God to do something about my noisy neighbor with the barking dog. Joe Pesci straightened that cocksucker out with one visit. <laughs> it's amazing what you can accomplish with a simple baseball bat. Oh, my God. So I've been God. praying to Joe for about a year now. And I noticed something. I noticed that all the prayers I used to offer to God and all the prayers I now offer to Joe Pesci are being answered at about the same 50% rate. Half the time I get what I want, half the time I don't. Same as God, 50-50. Same as the four-leaf clover in the horseshoe, the wishing well in the rabbit's foot. Same as the mojo man. Same as the voodoo lady who tells you your fortune by squeezing the goat's testicles. It's all the same, 50 Oh my God, So just man. pick your superstition, sit back, make a wish, and enjoy yourself. And for those of you who look to the Bible for moral uh, lessons and literary qualities, I might suggest a couple of other stories for you. Uh, you might want to look at the Three Little Pigs. That's a good one. <laughs> Has a nice hat. Oh my God, yo, the Three Little Pigs. Yo, man, and it's like shit like that, bro. They just... It just, <laughs> oh my God, man. Come on, George. Why you got to go there, Happy man? Ending. I'm sure you'll like that. Then there's Little Red Riding Hood, although it does have that X-rated part where the big bad wolf actually eats the grandmother, which I didn't care for, by the way. And finally, I've often always drawn a great deal of moral comfort from Humpty Dumpty. The part I like the best, all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. That's because there is no Humpty Dumpty and there is no God. None, not one, no God, never was. In fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it this way. If there is a God, if there is a God, may he strike this audience dead. <laughs> Talk about pushing boundaries, bro. Yo, man. 
And you see how quiet he got when he said there's no God, right? You see how quiet he got? Yo, that's see, it's like religion, man. I'm telling you, man, any religion, that's the one thing you can't fuck with, man. Politics, religion. See, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Everybody's okay. All right? Tell you what. Tell you what. I'll raise the stakes. I'll raise the stakes a little bit. If there is a God, may he strike me dead. See? Nothing happened. Oh, wait. Got a little cramp in my leg. And my balls hurt. Plus, I'm blind. I'm blind. Oh, now I'm okay again. Must have been Joe Pesci, huh? God bless. Oh, my goodness, man. Yo, bro. This is crazy, man. Yo, George Carlin, man. He, like I said, he is a professional button pusher, man. He just knows how to push buttons, bro. But, you know, I do gotta say, like I said, somebody that, you know, like I said, is a Christian. You know, I can I can laugh at some of this shit. You know, some of this shit is funny, man. It's comedy, man. Like, not everything gotta be so serious, you know? But, I, I, I rock with it, man. Like I said, George Carlin is one of my favorites, because he touches on a lot of real shit, you know, and he's not afraid to go there, as you clearly see, so. But nah, man, uh, that's gonna do it for this video, man. If you enjoyed this, smack a like. Link to this video will be down in the description below. You want to go check it out for yourself. And with that, man, stay lit, be you, and stay true, man. Peace!